Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the EFT videos. Um, in this video, I'll show you a couple of uh, uh, tips that will, uh, you know, help you save, uh, you know, some time when you start recording and, you know, playing with new applications and trying to get a hand on the application primarily. And uh, definitely this, these uh, tips did help me and I hope this will help you as well. Uh, let me run the script and this script, you know, primarily works with the sample application and it does it, it only has a couple of checkpoints and few transactions added let me go ahead and run it it's performing a, a checkpoint there line 19 then it did the image checkpoint and then it's moving forward So it finished uh, the script and displayed the results. So uh, the way the environment is set, it ha you know the results will show up as soon as the script is finished. So it you know it finishes the script and displays the results on your screen. While you're initially uh, trying to automate things, I mean the results window is of no use. I mean, there's no point because, you know, it opens up every time you run it. That's one thing. And the other thing is for every run, it creates a, it creates a results folder in the test directory. So the, here are the actions that you see here and these are the results. So, the, so for every run, see, now we have res, results 10, rest 10. Let me go ahead and run it. See, look at here. It's immediately creating uh, another result for RES uh, 11. It's under 003 underscore checkpoints. Let me go ahead and cancel, switch to that uh, window. So RES 11 and 003 underscore checkpoints. So in the, uh, the initial stage, I mean, there is no point in saving the results. So what we can do, a couple of things. What we can do is number one is let's go ahead and disable the results window. So I went to tools, options, run sessions, and say view results when run and when session ends. I'm going to uncheck that and save it. That's first thing. So we disabled it. And the second thing is what we'll do is when we start the run, instead of accepting the defaults, let's pick the options and pick temporary run results folder. So it goes into your operating system temporary folder and hit run. So now what happens is this, uh, the script will not save the results into your script folder because for every run you get one folder and uh, when you, you know, start working with these scripts you'll end up running 40, 50, 60, sometimes even 100 times to you know, get to the final script that you like. Then you'll have, what, 100 folders in there? So it's there's no point in um, you know, having all those folders. I mean, you do have a cleanup tool you can use, but you can directly point it to a temp folder and your directly will be clean. So here, so I still have only 10. It, it did not add uh, any other uh, folder here, the results folder. Again, if I run it by default, you know, because we picked the temporary folder last time, so by default, it, it, it remembers it and it, it always points to the temporary folder now. So you can hit run, I will start using the temporary location. Uh, so that's another thing. And uh, so that will save, you know, it'll, it'll not clutter your script directory, that's one. Number two, the first tip will not display any results. And on the checkpoints, once you know that the checkpoint is working the way it should work, and if you're still constructing your script, go ahead and disable your checkpoints because there's no point in running your checkpoints every time when you're actually still constructing your script. 
you may have had checkpoints in the beginning and you may be still continuing with the other parts of your script so now if I do that see let's go ahead and uh, you know look at the last run results and let's take a look at uh, the checkpoint so this is one checkpoint here waited for 10 seconds uh, let's see a checkpoint here let me do uh, let me do this in transaction so it took to the for just for the login it took about 11 seconds 11.2 seconds I mean, there's no when you're actually as I said when you're actually still constructing once you have your um, checkpoints uh, you know designed or coded once they're good to go when you know that it's working as expected just disable them for the time being as you you know finish on the other parts of the script let me go ahead and run it and I'll show you how quickly the script runs now because it's there are no checkpoints to look at but, you know I think it barely took a second at the login screen now and there's no results window so I don't have to go and close the results window so I can run as many times as I want results are going into the temporary folder I don't have to look at the results I know the checkpoints are working fine so I just disabled it because I can go back and enable them at the end whenever I think I need it now if you go look at the last run results because that option will only display the last result you can always open this, any results you like uh, if you go look at um, the login action it only took what half a second 0 0.6 seconds so that you know 10 seconds versus one second you're seeing quite a bit of time there and now you run it 100 times 200 times and depending on the checkpoints you have there could be a difference of few minutes so anyway there are a few tips you know if you think they're useful you can definitely incorporate that into your learning process and you know play with it as well okay well that's it about uh, you know this video a few tips there just to quickly summarize it number one we disabled the run results using a tools options run sessions we unchecked this one and when we run a, run a script we instead of using the run results folder uh, we picked the temporary option and we you know commented out the checkpoints you know we can always go there and you know we can may enable those lines uh, on as needed basis that's it quick three things will definitely save you quite a bit of time i hope uh, it was uh, helpful and you know i will talk to you in the next video